Hi, this is Hypen. Um, today I'm gonna talk about this Ishin EF01 FPV or Iman camera. So, a wrist hobby or hobby wing sent me this camera in exchange for honest review. And I guess uh, Ishin somehow wants to make this um, like a rival for the extremely popular FX797 or FX798 um, with this soft antenna. So the package comes with a couple of like uh, battery strap, which I'm not going to use. They have the uh, frequency band and channel table at the back of the box. And um, I would say this is a very typical Yixin packaging. Um, there's a power cable with the two pin Molex bigger plate connector. And um, the camera is pretty hard to pull out. Now, probably the most important thing about this all-in-one camera is the weight. With the power cable, it weighs as much as 8.3 grams. So it makes a lot of sense to remove the case. And without the case. The weight is down to 6 point, 6.4 grams, which is much better. If you put the EF01 and the FX797 side by side, you'll notice that um, the antenna is way longer and it's made of um, kind of like thicker coaxial wire, which probably contributes a lot to the weight. Um, but the longer wire also makes the whole thing more flexible um, than that of the FX798 which might be a good thing because it's more crash resistant I crash it like real hard for a dozen times and it's still holding up fine so let's compare the actual power consumption of this camera so in the first test I'm gonna use this um, one cell LiPo battery for the EF01 at 4 volts, it draws about 330 milliamps. And for the um, FX798 at the same voltage, it only draws about 230 milliamps. Next, I'm gonna test with a 5 volt input voltage using a USB power supply. Um, quite surprisingly, it draws less current at like 270 milliamps. Um, and I guess the reason is that not all of the components are running on the um, linear regulator voltage. I um, also see the same thing on the FX798 at 5 volt. Um, it only draws about 190 milliamps. Um, to test it, I put it on an inductrix. And um, I also got another one um, with the FX798 um, so that I can compare them side by side. The first thing I notice is that the F01 obviously has a um, better picture. It's just like uh, sharper and the color is more vibrant. It also has a wider uh, field of view, which I personally do not prefer. The F01 has a 148 degrees field of view compared to the FX797 which has only 120 degrees for um, indoor FPV this wide angle is just too much for me and I actually feel less comfortable with it another important thing about this um, Asian camera is that unlike the FX797 maybe just me but with the stock motors um, it drips too much and I can barely make a tight turn and it just keep crashing and crashing the next day I brought it to a small park next to my home I was very surprised by the picture quality of the Yixin camera. It's just so much better and I can see much more of the better picture quality. I think it's even better than the Mini 600 TVL, which quite many people use on some custom quad builds. I also heard people questioning about how um, the Yixin handles um, direct sunlight. Well, um, honestly, I don't really find a big difference. Um, I think both of them work well for me. So all in all, I think although this is not the best option for a tiny hook because of the extra weight, 
Um, I do think it's a very good alternative considering the cheaper price. On the other hand, I think it works the best for custom builds with bigger motors. I would definitely use it for my next build. Um, if I have to give uh, feedback to Yixin, my first one is that if you want to make it work better for the tiny hook, just make it less heavy. And I think two less grams will do it. Um, my second opinion is that if they provide another version with like a more powerful video transmitter, something like two um, two hundred milliwatt, it would be the perfect FPV um, all in one system for this like custom build. I really hope they will make something like that. All right, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Take care.